Season 3, episode 73. I'd like to be able to just skip the recap, but I don't know how long the recap is. Not like the, you know, beginning. What is the Deadly Devil Might Beam? Deadly Devil Might Beam? Uh oh. Maybe it's a hostess kick? This is a face of determination. I'm gonna go inside the skull now. <laughs> what is this about? Yeah, he does seem nervous versus Goku's not nervous. And that giant Goku image was pretty awesome. <laughs> I really like that. It's funny that puns just, <laughs> when you're reading the subtitles, they don't really work the same way. The no openings technique. Ah, Upa feels guilty. Oh, I didn't caught him. A hit, a direct hit. And an uppercut. Whoa, already given up on him. <laughs> I really like how they changed up the fight animation, you know, in different fights. Are we getting the beam? Is he beaming? Damn, we're in a tight spot. It's been a pretty lengthy discussion about this whole bandage situation here. Aww. They had to get commercial break. <laughs> oh, some serendipity? Is that what's that? Or is this just for the animation of showing that the fall is there? Okay. Oh, no, gave him an idea. What is he doing? Wait, did he go in? Oh no, he's barely holding on, but that's entirely based on the guy upstairs. I, I just got the irony of it being a mummy and it being a toilet, and there being a toilet paper roll just over on the side there. Extra little attachment there. Alright, got a hit. Nice liver shot. <laughs> Alright, that's a beast. Yeah, he sure did. Hey, he's still got two more, jeez. Who the hell are these people? Oh, Goatman's coming up next. Oh wait, are those wings? Okay, it's probably not a goat then. But neither of these have fought in like forever, or ever since this thing has started, so... I wonder if they didn't want to have to come up with a, a fighting related gimmick? for this guy, so they're just gonna take him out pretty quickly, <laughs> and just get to the fifth one. Oh, yeah, so there's a kick to the solar plexus. He's got wings. He drank a Red Bull. Oh, he's got some credentials. Won the tournament twice. Okay, so they're... <laughs> this is obviously a setup. 
あの悪魔には恐ろしい殺人技があるんじゃその技をかけられた者は必ず死ぬ<笑> This is a five point palm technique. He's got wing sparkles? Oh no. Oh, it's gonna be one of these deals. <laughs> this is kind of awesome. <laughs> okay, so the obvious punchline uh, is it's Goku. But let's see what happens. Oh, this is where the might beam's coming from. <laughs> Are we. Narrator? No, get out of here, narrator. Are you killing me? Kill him. Are you kidding me? Oh, jeez. So it was good. Obviously, the showrunners, whoever the writers are, they are able to keep mixing it up, keep doing different things, and they change the pace, they change the situation, they change the circumstances. Much appreciated. I did think that the whole mummy thing, like how we went down and uh, burned the things off, it should have been done in some kind of a different way, where the mummy guy didn't have complete control over being able to dip him right into the stuff, so that was a little odd, but uh, other than that, it was just good. I loved that he beat him in one punch after, you know, I figured out all the, all the other stuff. Uh, that was good, much appreciated. So, uh, we will, I get, we'll have to do the next, next set next week. I hope all is well, and I hope the new uh, kind of lengthier videos are making sense, but uh, I'll see you on the next one. All right, bye. Oh, season 3, episode 74. I can't re Oh, that's what's happening. That's right. <laughs> Good luck, Goku. He was fighting the devil guy, but I think he was dominating, wasn't he? Oh, no, the devil might be him. Wasn't it like it... it tested him for goodness or something? I don't know. The mysterious fifth man! I mean, he's the devil's toilet, so he's the theme bad guy for this place. I wonder how many times Goku's gonna survive a thing that no one has ever survived. Oh no, he thought about little tiny devil things or something. <laughs> yeah, Bulma. If he exploded from the inside, he would die. That's correct. Yeah, I like the animation related to it. It's kind of unique and has a good sound. Jeez. Now, I feel like anybody who knows Goku wouldn't think he's got any, uh, you know, evil thoughts bouncing around in there. That's impossible. I was quoting Star Wars just then. What's he doing now? That is my response as well, Goku. Just punch him in the face. Okay, so obviously that was way too expected to drag it out this long. It's like in Ghostbusters. <laughs> Don't think of anything. Just got a point. Just got a point there, buddy. He has a trident. Oh, who's this, this guy? Looks like he's... Remember in The Shining? When you saw those two people in the bedroom? I wonder if it's this guy. Oh no! Except... He keeps trying to kick the pitchfork. I feel like he could <laughs> like go at it from an angle or something. Is that a nuclear blast? What was that about? Alright, incredible fighting master. Again, this dude's gonna be out of practice because it's been like forever since the last fight. Yeah. I like the entrance. I like the entrance. Nice. 
Oh, outside. Well, plus, this room is themed around the last guy, so... Oh, okay. Alright, maybe tone that down. Oh, okay. But the last one was themed around the last guy, so it makes sense he wants somewhere else. You know, that's gonna fit his personality a little better. Like a hotel room in The Shining. You were just saying it was gonna be super easy. Ugh, Bulma. Uh-oh. Oh, no. He's in biological warfare. He's <laughs> just having a nice little casual moment. Alright, so here it goes. Let's see what the twist is here. Oh, and you fought a lot of dudes, so, uh... Goku would know. There it is. All right, so that one with the whole dragon guy, uh, the dragon, the devil guy, was obviously way too telegraphed. They've been setting up the entire show that Goku is all pure of heart. They did it with the little cloud thing, and so obviously this is was going to be the resolution of that whole situation. But now he's fighting the guy from The Shining, so <coughs> we'll see how this fight goes. And this is for the location of the last Dragon Ball. And I still, I really like just being in this space, taking this moment to be stuck here because they could just be focused on traveling all over the place, you know, for too long or being stuck in one place for too long, but it, it gets switched up. And I know they must have been managing all this stuff deliberately or at least intuitively felt like, okay, well, we feel like we've been stuck here for too long, so let's go there, let's do some travel, whatever. So whatever, it's it's much appreciated. And now we see what happens in this deal. 